Let's talk Zoom. When you have a long project, it can sometimes be difficult to zoom in on the right bit. Fortunately, Cubase offers us a number of ways that we can manage zoom levels. The zoom controls in Cubase are located in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You have these two small arrows and these two small sliders. They are a bit fiddly to use, but fortunately, if you click on them, they're fairly generous in allowing where you click. So if we click on this one first, this enables us to zoom the tracks to one, two, however many rows we want. You can zoom the tracks to fill the screen. You can zoom them back to two. You can even squeeze them up so that you get the minimum amount of space taken up by each one. And if you want to manually configure it, you can squeeze on those. And as you can see, it jumps around quite extravagantly. I tend to keep things on two rows and use a lot of folders to manage my screen vertically. Horizontally is another matter. One of the things you'll notice is there's no option to user configure this. You can zoom to a number of tracks. So if we want to zoom to two tracks, for example, we can do. Also, we can zoom the tracks so that they occupy a fixed number of rows, say six. Or we can go back to whatever we're using. With the horizontal zoom, it's not quite the same. If you come into here, by default, you only have two zoom settings, zoom full and zoom to locators. So if I click on a part, for example, the Calliope part here, and I press P on the keyboard, I can now zoom to where my left and right locators are set. You can then use the mouse to click in this bar at the top and squeeze up and down as you want. Um, you can also use G and H on the keyboard. G will zoom out and H will zoom in. You can set your own zoom settings. So if, for example, what are we here? We have the locate the Calliope part is 98 bars long. However, if you add that and say this is 98 bars, that's not 98 bars. It's 98 bars at 230 beats a minute. And that's important because if I change the tempo, go down here now, you see, we have 98 bars at 230 beats. If I go to 16 bar setting that I've made, that's not 16 bars, that's 16 bars at 120 beats a minute because the zoom on the horizontal is time based, not measure based. So using that little option here, we can go in and organize and I can delete that or rename it. But either way, I'm going to delete it. OK, so that's zoom in Cubase. Now, I've set some zoom settings up in Doit. I've talked about Doit before. So I have zoom full, which allows me to zoom out. Zoom selected, which if I select something will allow me to zoom to it. Zoom in and zoom out. The same commands that we've talked about, the same commands you have here. It's just that having them in Doit allows me to zoom using the left hand and the right hand as I need. And zoom back to my locators. And there you go. So that's it. A quick tour of Zoom in Cubase and some suggestions as to how you can make it work for you. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below. And until next time, you take care of yourselves.